Wind, an energy superstar. Hey there, science fans, let's talk about wind energy, a true champion in the renewable energy world. Imagine harnessing the power of the wind to generate electricity. Pretty cool, right? Wind energy is clean, green, and sustainable, meaning it won't run out like fossil fuels. Now, how do we capture this amazing energy source? We use wind turbines. These incredible machines come in different shapes and sizes, but they all have the same goal, to convert wind power into usable energy. Think of wind turbines as giant fans working in reverse. Instead of using electricity to create wind, they use wind to generate electricity. Pretty neat, huh? Now, let's dive into two main types of wind turbines, HOTS and VOTS. HOTS, giants with arms. First up, we have horizontal axis wind turbines or HOTS for short. These are the ones you've probably seen before. Tall towers with blades that look like giant airplane propellers. HOTS are like the rock stars of the wind energy world. They're the most common type of turbine because they're really good at what they do. Their blades spin around a horizontal axis. That's why they're called horizontal, facing directly into the wind. These turbines are super efficient at capturing wind energy, especially in areas with strong, steady winds. They're like the Olympic sprinters of wind power. HOTS, good and not so good. HOTS have a lot going for them. They're great at catching strong winds. This means they can produce a lot of energy. They've been around for a while, so we know how to build and fix them easily. But, like any good superhero, they have a few weaknesses. They can be really tall. This makes some people worry about how they look. They need lots of space to work properly. And they can be tricky to install in places where the wind changes direction a lot. VOTS Windmills Reinvented Now, let's meet the Vertical Axis Wind Turbines or VOTs. These turbines look quite different from HOTS. Instead of blades sticking out to the side, VOTIs have blades that rotate around a vertical axis. Imagine a giant egg beater spinning in the wind. That's kind of what a VWT looks like. These turbines are like the all-around athletes of the wind energy world. They can capture wind from any direction. This makes them super versatile. They can be placed in areas where the wind is unpredictable like cities or hilly regions. VOTS UPS AND DOWNS VOTS have some cool advantages, they're quieter than HOTS. This makes them perfect for places where noise is a concern, they're also safer for birds and bats. This is because their blades spin slower and are easier to see. However, VOTS aren't perfect. One challenge is that they're not as efficient as HOTS at catching wind. They also tend to be shorter than HOTS. This means they might not catch the strongest winds. So who wins? HOTS or VOTS? Well, it's not really a competition. Both HOTS and VOTS have their own strengths and weaknesses. The best type of turbine depends on the location and specific needs. HOTS are like the heavy lifters. They're perfect for large-scale wind farms in open areas with strong winds. VOTs, on the other hand, are like the nimble specialists. They're ideal for urban areas, small-scale applications, and places with variable wind conditions. It's like choosing the right tool for the job. The future of wind power. Wind energy is a rapidly growing field and the future of wind turbines is brighter than ever. Scientists and engineers are constantly working on new designs and technologies to make wind turbines even more efficient, affordable, and environmentally friendly. From taller towers to smarter blades, the future of wind power is full of exciting possibilities. As we continue to explore and harness the power of the wind, one thing is certain. Wind energy will play a crucial role in creating a cleaner, more sustainable future for everyone. Remember, knowledge is power, and when it comes to renewable energy, the future is blowing in the wind.